Hi, this is Magmar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In episode 16, I showed you how to uh, put custom unit cards that you'd made uh, into the game and attach them to a unit. Uh, I'm going to take a step further back in that uh, production and uh, show you now how to actually edit unit cards or yeah, create your own new ones and um, as well as the masks so let's first take a look where the unit cards are and you go to your data Rome 2 pack to start off with which is there you go right there and then we're going to open it up UI down to units and we want these two folders. The icons has the uh, the base unit icon, um, and the mask has uh, is has a small area on it, which determines where the faction color will be applied to the unit icon. Uh, I've already extracted these. Uh, if you've been following since the start, then you should already have these extracted as well. Otherwise. Just right click and uh, extract either the ones you want specifically. Right click, extract, extract selected. Or you can just extract that whole units folder the same way. So once you've done that, you can jump in and we can take a look at the unit cards and the icons. So the icons, let's do the slinger here. Uh, I'm going to be editing it with GIMP. Uh, you can use. Uh, Photoshop or any other kind of tool you like. Okay, so here is what we're going to be creating, uh, editing, and then um, yeah, making a mask for. So that's what a unit card looks like, and the mask looks like something a little different. It's just the area, as you can see here, which will just the area of this unit card which will have the color put over the top. Now the color that we use for the mask um, will determine how the shading of the faction color will look. So if we use bright whites then it'll be more bright and we use darker grays then uh, it, it can add a shading effect to the faction color. Uh, I'm not really gonna bother with uh, shading or anything like that. I'm just gonna do a quick edit and uh, just to give you an idea and uh, you guys can, when you do your own unit cards you can um, go into as much detail as you like. So first thing I'll do is I will I'll keep that up so I can copy the color from here. Um, but let's go to the icons I'm going to grab copy this and I'm going to go put it in my whip folder my whip where I do all the editing. I've already created the directory structure so UI, units, this one's going to go in icons oh, fuck sorry in there. Icons and I'll rename it tutorial unit cards okay now I can open that up So let's, I'm just going to do something really stupid, uh, that's quick and stupid to do, and let's put a little smiley face on this guy here. Yeah, I'm not an artist, as you can tell. Uh, we can also get rid of his uh, sling and we can give him a different kind of weapon which I'll actually just take uh, from another unit card which is already in, been created. So firstly delete that. Okay. Uh, so, 
let's go to the back to those unit cards and we will open another one up which has a different weapon and we can give this guy a different weapon let's say a spear sure let's give him a spear and you can just draw directly on that if you like or you can just copy and paste from other things pictures or whatever you want to do however you want your unit to look like and just design it how you want him and then just save it create a mask oops Put it in here. Give him that spear. Layer. Anchor the layer. Actually, maybe not just there. Let's move it. Okay, that's good enough. Can even make it a little longer by drawing onto it. Give it a white outline. Okay, now we can, once we've done this, that's our new unit with a retarded smiley face on it. Uh, I'll save it. No, oh, sorry, I say export it. Export as. And make sure it's in PNG. There it is, PNG image. Let's replace it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get rid of that. Don't save it. Okay. So now our new unit card. looks like that and we're going to now turn it into we're going to create the mask directly from the a unit card so we do that we can uh, let's add a layer and we can uh, we can just paint over it really if we want um, with a color Let's pick this color. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to do shading. Uh, and we can use this layer and just paint over the areas that we want to um, have the unit color over. Uh, I'm just going to be a bit lazy here and uh, just select it like this. Actually, I got a better. Well, the other thing we could do is you could just delete the areas that we don't want. Um, get rid of the white and then just change the color of uh, what's left over and then work on the shading if you want to work on from there so let's uh, erase that oh, on the layer erase that The same there, get rid of that. Okay, so now we've just got the, uh, the tunic. I mean, we could just use that entire thing there as a unit card. Oh, as the mask, but we don't. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just um, work from here, and because this is how you do it normally, you'll have your unit card created and derive a mask from that, so that it uh, fits perfectly. Okay, let's start by getting rid of the white, because if we have white, 
Uh, we're gonna have bright faction colours going in there. So we don't want that. I'm also going to have to make it a little brighter because this will be a very dark faction colour with this kind of grey that's going on here. So we're going to change that colour to the um, similar colour to that. Okay, so now I've cl cleaned this one up a little bit. And now I'm going to just adjust the colour. Uh, let's go brightness contrast and we can just adjust it so it's brighter or how we want to have it gonna try to get it to roughly match this Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, and there's our uh, that is our unit mask done. So when we save it, uh, export it. So let's go export. We're gonna export it to uh, not to our icons, but to our mask. Uh, also in PNG, and we're gonna change it. And the the name of the mask for the unit must be the same as the icon. Plus this at the end, exactly. Underscore mask, oh, underscore one. And we can export that. Obviously, you can go in there and fix that up. I mean, there's a little bit, it's a little bit patchy in places there. Uh, I probably wouldn't use it just like that. I'd clean that up a little bit before I used it. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's how you can go in and edit unit cards. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.